ho Halloween time. That's how much I like fall. Right up top, my name's Megan Batoon. I am not a professional chef. We could probably leave it at that. It's October, which means people like Halloween. I know that I am one of very few people that doesn't enjoy Halloween very much. I don't like being scared. And also, I think all Halloween decorations just look like trash. True story, I have one corner of my house that's my fall decorations, and then I have a Christmas tree. Fully up and very lit. So since it's October, I'm going to make a Halloween treat inspired by Christmas time. We're gonna make ginger snap cookies, but we're gonna throw pumpkin in them. Boom, we did Halloween. I've never made gingerbread cookies before, but this is great because it's like training for Christmas. Oh my gosh, see how things are coming together? You gotta go through things you don't like in order to get to things you do. Life. I need to get a sound bite for when I drop that young knowledge. I think all my credibility was taken away with just that one comment. Think before you speak, especially on the internet. <laughs> First up, we need sugar and butter. I have coconut palm sugar, one cup of sugar. Oh God, dang. We're gonna wait on the butter to come down to our level here at room temperature, and let's get the other ingredients ready. Pumpkin, molasses, an egg, and vanilla extract. A half a cup? Yo, I think we just have enough for this. Whoops, looks pretty darn. Not room temperature to me. I think it's exactly a half cup. Couple seconds in there. I'm also taking the recipe and making it healthy as always, so I have zero clue if this is gonna end up being the correct consistency. Cause what we've learned from life is substitutions are never the real thing. Butter. Half cup, 100% pure pumpkin. Next up we got molasses. I've never cooked with molasses before. <laughs> Blah. This smells like a great grandmother was burping up fish oil pills. Ah! So we need a fourth cup of this. Okay. Okay! Molasses. Also the egg. And continue mixing. Wow. I'm learning things. Wet ingredients aside, let's get a bowl for our dry ingredients. We need flour. We have coconut flour and almond flour. We're just gonna half whatever flour is in the recipe with these two. Two and one third cups. Yikes, fractions are frightening. One and a third cups almond flour and a cup of coconut flour. Two teaspoons of baking soda. Adding cloves. Mmm, hoo hoo hoo, ha ha ha, blah blah blah. We gotta waft it, this one's real potent. Yeah, this smells like fall. Half a teaspoon, one teaspoon ground clove, no! I put the amount for ginger for cloves. Art is knowing what mistakes to keep. Two teaspoons ground cinnamon. Okay, now we have one and a half teaspoons of ginger. And lastly, salt. All right, time for whiskey business. Uh-oh, at least some of the cloves are out along with everything else. From here, we need to put the dry ingredients in the wet ingredients and refrigerate for about an hour. Dry ingredients into the wet. Oh, jumble! The bowl is also a dry ingredient. Next, take a silicone spatula and start mixing from the outer corners in, folding it, if you will, until it's fully combined. Hi, it's been a few hours. You can tell because the lighting is completely different and I went through a complete outfit change on account of I change on the hour every hour. I also jammed a straw into my lip. Oh my God, I just jammed my straw into my lip and it's full on busted. <laughs> oh my God. And now one side of my face is swollen and the other is normal. So please just keep that in mind. Let's check out something that hopefully has had a better couple of hours than my lip. Oh my God, that smells so good. I guess from here we're gonna roll it out and cut it with a cookie cutter. Oop. Right now, I'm very happy with this, but I don't wanna make any snap judgments. Preheat the oven to 350. Put some sugar in a bowl. Also gonna line a baking sheet with parchment paper. Take some of our dough, roll it just a little bit. Try and cut out a skull. Ugh, honestly, could go better. Let's just make balls of dough that hopefully will set, and then we can go in and cut the cookie cutter after the fact. I'm gonna make them pretty big because we have to cut out a skull. Roll it in some sugar. All right, I'm gonna try again to do the thing that I wanted to do. Learning curves. 
God dang it! This is not ideal. While I figure out this life, I'm just gonna test run these and see how they go. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Are they even done? They look amazing, they just look real small. Ugh. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna just stuff the cookie inside of this and let it cool that way. Yes, improvise. If the puzzle pieces don't fit, shove them. This is even better because it's all cracked and that's scary. Things that aren't intact are scary. Wait, this is incredible. Oh, this is going swell. So well. Do you think that whoever made the word swell, they were just trying to be cute? by saying so well really fast. Would not be surprised if Chris D'Elia coined that phrase. What are we working, ugh, this is good enough to, ouch. Oh my God, my kitchen is attacking me. The last thing you, ow, my God. My hip is jamming into this drawer. The last thing you need to do is get cookie icing. This already has a tip that's easy to manage from what it says. Apparently it's supposed to be easy. We're gonna draw our best impression of a Day of the Dead skeleton. And if it goes horribly awry, we will do a clip art skeleton. But let's always shoot for the best and accept whatever we get. <laughs> That's actually not good advice. How about just no expectations? That's a better piece of advice. So I pulled up this Google image search of the Day of the Dead skull. Start with the eyes. It all starts with the eyes. I'm focusing, can't you see? We did one. It's not the greatest. I am not the most proud of it. So I'll do two Day of the Dead ones and two normal ones, just so you could see variety. And also to try and redeem myself, but I don't think it's gonna go very well. I'm blaming it on the tip. <gasps> we did it! I redeemed myself, I think. And there you have it. These are your festive pumpkin ginger snap cookies. My name is Megan Mattoon, and if you do decide to try this at home, Best of luck. Before I try it, I'm not a big fan of pumpkin. I'm doing this for you. Cheers. Maybe I like Halloween.